Mi sedeo <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bet you guys did not know I could sing a Jamaican song. <laughs> I'm such a nerd, and the t-shirt proves it. Hey guys, Mr. Movie Night back here again for the Movie Reviewers 100, and uh, that horrible uh, singing there at the beginning probably gave you a little clue as to what film I'm going to review here on Tim Burton Week. That's right, folks, Tim Burton Week, which is really cool. Um, his films are very dark interesting and entertaining and just really great. Uh, probably the first Tim Burton film I remember seeing is Pee-wee's Big Adventure, which I gotta admit took a couple of repeated viewings before it became one of my favorites. Uh, it's a very strange little funny film, but uh, I really enjoy it. Some of you may not have known he directed that. I think that was one of his first. Uh, anyway, on to the review. The film I chose to review is the classic 1988 Beetlejuice, starring Michael Keaton, Gina Davis, Alec Baldwin, Jeffrey Jones, Winona Ryder, Catherine O'Hara. has some great actors, some great performances, and just a really funny, uh, very entertaining film. Uh, basically deals with a young uh, newlywed couple. Uh, I believe it's Barbara and Adam Maitland. And they, they live in this nice house. It's kind of like a old, sort of historic, you know, looking home. Uh, they decide to uh, just hang out at the house um, for their vacation or their... I'm not sure if it's their honeymoon, their vacation, whatever. They're just kind of chilling in the house, you know, doing their own thing, having fun. And uh, and this realtor drops by. Her name is Jane, I believe. And she keeps pressuring them to try to sell the house. They don't want to sell the house. You know, she thinks, she, oh, you know, I can get a good profit for it. This is, you know, too much house for you guys. It's a great house and I can sell it. And they don't want to sell it. They're pretty, uh, you know, adamant on that. Um, so anyway, she leaves and they, they have to go pick up some things from in town because they kind of live out of town so uh, they get in the car and they're driving over this bridge and let's just say there is an accident and they both wind up getting killed and they don't really know they're dead so they show back up at the house and they find this handbook for the recently deceased and they realize that they are in fact now ghosts living in their house and you know so ensues this whole story where you know, now the house is vacant and the realtor comes in again. She brings this couple named the Dietzes, who is Jeffrey Jones and Catherine O'Hara. And they have their daughter is uh, Lydia, which is uh, played by Winona Ryder. And they come in this house and the realtor is trying to sell it to them. You know, they want to buy it. And basically, uh, Adam and uh, Barbara, the uh, Maitlands, are trying to scare people off because they don't want people in their house. It's their house. And unfortunately, though, the living cannot see the dead. So all the attempts they use to, you know, pull their faces off and do all this bizarre sick stuff is not working. It's not scaring anybody off. They can't seem to do anything about these people that are invading their space. Um, Lydia, you find out later on, which is sort of the, the uh, you know, the young, sort of depressed, uh, dark, you know, wearing all these veils and dark clothing. She's kind of like the, the emo daughter, I guess, back in those days. And, uh, She's very bizarre, and it turns out she can actually see. She can see Barbara and Adam. Uh, she finds out later that you know the that certain people, I guess, ignore things, and I guess because she's a little bit eccentric and all, she you know they're actually revealed to her. Anyway, there's there's sort of a, a crazy big plot for this thing. Um, you know, a lot of different things going on. Uh, essentially, though, the name Beetlejuice comes into play because. After Barbara and Adam are sort of unsuccessful, they hire a sort of an exorcist, so to speak, Beetlejuice, uh, whom they summon by calling his name three times. He shows up. He's very funny, very comical, and his whole you know mission is to get rid of these people that are trying to buy their house, scare them, and cause all this trouble and whatnot. Um, so he shows up, and there's all this you know hilarity and. You know, and then you have uh, Adam and Barbara dealing with the, you know, the waiting room of the afterlife and trying to figure out, you know, their purpose and what they can do now and uh, all this kind of stuff. And there's seances and there's all kind of funny, you know, interesting things uh, in the film. There's some cool stop motion special effects, um, you know, and uh, just some really good humor. And Michael Keaton is just hilarious in that role. Um, Probably one of my favorite performances uh, of his, other than like the you know the movie Multiplicity, which that's for another day. But uh, Beetlejuice is great. 
Most of you have seen it. As I say always, I'm not going to go into too much detail because I don't want to spoil, uh, you know, the whole, you know, the whole thing and some of the little twists and turns and you know all the funny stuff in it. Um, but it's definitely worth checking out. It's a Tim Burton classic and a masterpiece. Um, it has good music by Harry Belafonte, which is what I was attempting to sing at the beginning and be funny, which maybe you thought I was funny, maybe you didn't. Hopefully you haven't turned this video off already. I'm a nerd, I know it, like I said before. <laughs> it's great, fun. I just, hey, I just have fun. But uh, Beetlejuice, 1988, great film. This is the Blu-ray, as you probably already noticed. It looks fantastic on Blu-ray. They did a great job of remastering it. So I recommend if you have a Blu-ray player and you don't own this, pick it up on Blu-ray. Here's the inside. Um, just a little booklet and uh, everything. Definitely worth owning on Blu-ray if you don't own this one. This is a Tim Burton classic, folks. And uh, this has uh, a couple of uh, episodes of the cartoon and some a few other special features on it. So definitely worth it. Uh, just an all-around fun film. I uh, hope I explained it uh, in somewhat of a uh, lucid fashion. Uh, you know, not this didn't just confuse you more. It's kind of a confusing film in a way, uh, but once you figure everything out, it's a lot of fun. Um, rambling enough here. Uh, check out Beetlejuice. Uh, hopefully somebody this week will review uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure and some of the other great Tim Burton films. He's a master. I haven't seen the new Alice in Wonderland yet, but um, sure I'll check it out at some point. Uh, anyway, great Tim Burton week. You guys check out everybody, all the other reviewers on here. Um, thank you so much again for supporting our channel uh, and coming back here on Monday to watch my review. Uh, go check out Beetlejuice. Watch it again if it's been a while since you've seen it. Just a fun, excellent film. And uh, you guys have fun this week. Take care.